Hello everyone, this is the Good Captain. Welcome to another video in my LP of campaign series, West Front, mission number 12 in the linked campaign game, Operation Sea Lion, and the name of this scenario is Attacking the Greens of Croydon. This is part two. Uh, so we're going to pick up right where we left off and start with the northern shoulder of our advance into Croydon. So, uh, we've got a pretty hefty counterattack here, uh, both in terms of armored units uh, and uh, supporting infantry. And we have Mark Sixes that have penetrated fairly deep behind our lines. Uh, and to me, this is the priority. Two platoons of two tanks each here. Got behind us. And it turns out our best unit to deal with these is the Stug 3B platoons. They have the best armor values. It's eight, hex range one. The Panzer 3Fs are 6 at hex range 1. So, uh, I don't have any problems with these British troops over here, and even the Bren carriers, because they're so... Um, they're mobile, and they can transport units, but the AI doesn't take advantage of that mobility <coughs> very well. So when you're fighting the computer, they're really not a, a threat. So, uh, okay, let's deal with these Mark VI tanks first, and I wanted to try just seeing how well they stood up when I shoot them in the rear with the Panzer III F. It's not a very strong attack, but it's through the rear. Excellent. Okay, sweet, that frees my Stug 3Bs to move in. And we move up another 12 victory points. So we're up to 40 casualty victory points. I know this because I just looked at this before the game. Yeah, we're up to 190. Exactly 40. Would have been 46 if we hadn't taken those two SP losses. But okay. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to open by trying to, uh, trying to draw some fire. Let's let have it be effectual, though. Let's do this. Wow, nice hits. Nice hits. He's down to one. That's good for now. Let's go for this guy. Not good. There we go. Okay, let's use machine guns. Yeah, unfortunately, he was low on ammo, so this is probably as good as we could have expected. Okay, let's move close to the enemy. And the undisrupted unit. Again. Okay. And now the engineers will hopefully completely destroy one of these Bren carriers. Seventy. Can we 
move another hex and still shoot? We sure can. Let's get a better armor facing. Shoot. Okay. Okay. Uh, and... Let's commit the low on strength. Answer to F. Try. Nope. No. Okay. Okay. Fine. Let's uh, wipe out these armored cars with our stugs. And try again. Dang. So this is what we're going to do. Let's uh, try to bait a shot. Ugh, low on ammo. Ugh. Disrupted. Very nice. And now... Flip the map just to make sure. Okay. Yes, this should work, although it will look very risky. One, two, three. Now, one, two. Bye. Perfect. Okay. We're looking much better up here. Much better. Ah, I wish that had done some damage. Positioning here. Okay. Uh, maybe we should take a crack at. Yeah. Now yeah, let's try. Disrupted Did the friend carriers and reduced retreated. Okay. Okay, alright, we've put a dent in them, but they've still got most of their sting left, for sure. But we've straightened up the line a lot, and this is far more contained now. Get these tracks over. Thinking of using these. I want to protect my engineers next turn from losing. These are four strength points apiece. Five? They're five. Okay, so yeah. We want to try to disrupt some of these troops. Oh, we've already got one disrupted, so this guy. Yes. An attack from this range would be a seven. Yes. Excellent. Okay. What about you? Can we get you? Yes, we can. Whew, killing him. Let's save that last one. 
Should we save that last one for the RAF? No, let's peel out. Yeah, let's go to safety. We don't want to get blasted by those tanks. Even though I don't think they'll shoot at us. Oops. Uh, probably not going to do any more damage to the enemy up here in the north. Let's take a look at the victory. Yeah, so we are... In terms of casualty points, we're at 67 here because we started out with 150. So we're already 67 points ahead. Very nice. Okay, the rest of these units can basically deal with moving towards the objective of West Wickham. And so they shall. First thing to do is bait the shot at hex range 3. I don't want to use a machine gun team. They're a little softer than these parachute 40 platoons, so... Nothing. Nothing. Let's move the next guy. There we go. Shoot him. Yikes. Alright, we'll move to hex range two. Bring up machine guns. Shoot twice. Once. Excellent. Twice. Okay. So artillery is falling in this area, so we do not want to double stack. And we want to be a little bit unpredictable, so let's not push any more units down the road. Let's go here. That is okay, that's the bait range. Perfect. And we'll push one to this hex. So we're likely to get bombed somebody, but at least the losses will be controlled to some degree by being spread out. No chance for the enemy already to do what they did last game, which was get two SP losses in one in one shot. Okay. Yeah, for the sake of company integrity, we'll move to the sound of the guns with these guys. I think, yeah, let's just move them. Where's the headquarters platoon? Oof, way up there. It's an argument to stay inside that range, so yeah, we'll move here, and here. Okay, so we've got four, eight, ten. Uh, yeah, we'll move our stugs. Let's move our stug tanks here. Ah, uh, our armor attack is no good. So let's take off the save APs for firing and just move closer. Same with you. Okay. Okay. That's why there's so many low ammo units. I forgot this guy was getting pushed around by the British 
last video. So we'll finally be able to establish supply to these guys. Uh, we don't have any need for the PSW-222s just yet, but we'll move them closer because we'll probably have a need for them, if not next turn, definitely the following. And then these mortars. Uh, hmm. I'm really tempted to move them closer. But if they keep pushing down this axis, just regardless of casualties, the mortars could become casualties themselves. So let's do an abbreviated <coughs> uh, attack here. Let's just move one space. Actually, these engineers being here is kind of helpful. Yeah, let's move these engineers one space. They'll get a shot. If something comes by, they'll shoot. And if it's an armor unit, they'll certainly get wiped out or damaged or have an effect. So, yeah, we'll move these mortars closer. Still a risk in doing that, yes. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the... Um, I feel in control of everything up here. Confident of the mission, destroying the counterattack, and then moving towards West Wickham before handling the board edge all the way to the victory objectives. Let's move to the south. So down here, uh, This isn't Blitzkrieg. We're going to be grinding out all the units and leaving nothing to rear area troops to demolish. We're going to just crush everything we can as we as we pass it. So these guys are shot out. Yep. So it's time to commit. We'll push the machine gun here first and hit the rifle platoon. Not a great start. Uh, let's move. Yeah, we're just going to throw in everything we got. Hit him. Hit the engineers. There we go. That was, that was what I wanted. Okay, let's meet up with the leader in the woods. Hit this guy with a good, good shot. There we go. Yeah. All right, that was what we needed. Next turn, we'll mop those guys up. Just shattered that defensive position. Let's take a look at the victory. Let's keep a close eye on these casualty victory points. We started out with 150. We're now 16 points shy of, so we're up to 84. 84 victory points in, ca in terms of casualties. Again, I'm probably ex I'm expecting to do Probably we'll get up to about five five hundred. I think that's a, a realistically conservative estimate. So we won't need a whole heck of a lot out of the objectives, although I have a feeling we'll need to take the Croydon objectives of two and two hundred in this objective and two hundred between these two. That's that's probably unavoidable. We'll have to get in there. But we'll see. I could be wrong been wrong many times before when it comes to what I need to win. <laughs> I'm getting better at it. Uh, this guy's fatigued. Yeah, you know, just for, I, I just think that each of these guys taking two, oh, he's still undisrupted. Still. It's an engineer platoon, not a rifle platoon, which means it's slightly less effective against soft targets than a rifle platoon is. I, I want these guys dead quick, so, so and get a, getting this company back on track, so I'll take a risk and move adjacent to both of them. 
Okay, that was a uh, sort of a company in the seam of the center in the right. So let's go to the direct center now. Uh, and for this, I'll, I'll need a little pause to study what we should do next. So I'll be right back. Okay, yo, I'm back. So yeah, I was thinking about this before I started this video. I think I'm going to have this entire battalion from the southern flank meet up with my, excuse me, battalion in the center. Just to have some soak units, <laughs> frankly. I feel more comfortable if uh, these guys to run the risky you know, reconnaissance type operations and drawing fire operations. Um, it would also increase the lethality of my force. Being the best and most preserved force on the battlefield, they're by far the most lethal by sheer strength points. Um, but yeah, so... First thing we want to do is recon by fire this trench line. It doesn't seem at first glance that there's anyone in there. They've been un under observation for at least one turn now. Uh, but this is the best way to do it. So we'll double time. Move you here, here, and here we go. Okay, all quiet. Too quiet. Uh, the true test now. Let's move here, here, and here. There's no one in that. One in that hex. That's that's for sure. So now we'll move the machine gun team. Because I don't think there is anyone anywhere. Yeah. All right. I'm pretty sure this trench line is empty. So let's bring up the rest of them. I love a path. Sometimes a path is that's the only reason we're able to get into that woods hex. <laughs> okay, so that's one company from this battalion that we want to send up, and the other one is down here, very far away. So we'll move them we'll move them when we get down to the down to our brethren in the south and do their moves. For now, we need to complete complete this. So the next most obvious move to me is to clear this roadblock. These are all one strength minefields, but combined with roadblocks, they'll take two turns for an engineer platoon to remove. So the easiest way to make a hole is here. There's no mines. So next turn, we will enter this hex deal with that uh, and remove that. So any follow-on units, logistics units, can just uh, move through the hole. All right. Uh, boy, that's a brutal Tim. Industrial hexes like this one here and the, the, the waterworks. Half your firepower is gone. So it's uh, you really got to be persistent. Yeah, so let's uh, let's send uh, yeah, we'll send this company down there to start working it over. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, no MGs in the waterworks hex. One, two, three, four, five. And no MGs in this fortified hex behind the water it works. We know this because the AI will always shoot its machine guns at enemy targets. And both were in... I know the range of the British medium is a six hex, so they had a turn to shoot out of each of these hexes, and it didn't happen. So no machine guns there. Uh... 
So yeah, no, we will move in. Yeah. Okay. We have artillery falling in this area, so uh, we have to do one hack, one troop per hex. One unit per hex, I should say. Okay, yeah, click here. did it. Should we take a risk and double up? Yeah, I'll take one. I'm just going to go against what I just said. I don't, I don't want to waste the double time. So, All right, and you, uh, well, in for a penny, in for a pound, I might as well double time the leader. And yeah, you'll move here. Yeah. Yeah. I like doing this, but it's really the safest. It's the, the most. It's it's really the right thing to do when artillery is dropping on your area. In my opinion, of course. So we don't know if there's two pounders here, so three hex range. Uh, to be safe. Oh, four hex range. Here we go, this is perfect. It's, this is gonna be a six firepower attack because of the fact he's in this waterworks industrial hex. Uh, and it did not, it's not counting the fortif fortification, so I'm not expecting much here, but it's leader directed. Yeah. Okay, let's... hex over the hedge and be two hexes away and provide decent fire support that's not leader directed. Okay. I think this is probably safest for the headquarters given that there's artillery going on, uh, dropping in the area. Yeah. Yeah, let's bring up uh, it's a little close, too close, two platoons per hex, that probably, uh, probably wasn't the smartest move. Oh, I, I can still move, duh. <laughs> okay, yeah, now I remember what we wanted to do. We're going to cross the roadblock and move. This one's going to go here and here. And frankly, yeah, I just want to get through it, so double it. I think that's far enough away from these two artillery groupings. Okay. Two. Yeah, I'm just going to do that, too. Ah, okay, whatever. All right. Um, the AA, the AA guns. I like that hex. Boy, we can cover a lot from there. Eight. Uh, but this is safer and we can shoot twice, so. Yeah. We're out of range of the troops there, so yeah, you'll stop there, provide anti-aircraft fire support. Let's 
Let's get these uh, 81s out on the road. Trucks. Actually, let's put the trucks back here for the time being. To avoid the artillery. Okay. This headquarters. Terrifically exposed up here on this crest. Uh, and really only for that reason. Uh, I'm going to move him. Here. Okay. Okay, that's it for the center. Not a terrible turn. Uh, now in the south, which has not made any contact whatsoever. Uh, and has the most strategic options available to it. In other words, it's not clear to me exactly how to deploy this unit, but its its best intentions will materialize in no time, I'm sure, uh, probably this turn. So let me study the battlefield. I'll be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. It was, it's actually, this was pretty quick. It only took about 30 seconds for me to realize this and make a decision. I'm deterred from continuing a westward push along the board edge here due to mines and the change in elevation, plus the lack of a connecting road network, presence of several rebels. Whereas to the north, we have a flat, open road network um, and it's it's it makes way more sense because it ties in with our we tie in with the flank of the center. Uh, in other words, if we broke left, if we went west, uh, strategically speaking, you know we're exposing we're leaving a gap in the line, so to speak. So uh, you know if you imagine this group of German troops just breaking west away from the main body here, it, it, you know, again, strategically, technically. I, I doubt the AI would exploit anything <laughs> like that, but yeah, let's not commit any major military uh, fallacies in that way. Uh, I want a direct, I want a solid ball of gray moving forward. I don't want to do any fancy maneuvering, so uh, yeah, we'll go north. Uh, we'll, we'll move up to this uh, road junction and very likely break left, what, northwest, I mean to say, and hit Selston. Uh, and probably ignore Sandersteed. Probably won't go for that objective now, uh, which means we'll be ignoring 175. Might even be ignoring 225 if we ignore all five of these objectives. I'm sorry, these four objectives. This is Selston, so yeah. These 200, it'll be 200. I think we'll ignore these 200 for the time being. And just focus on the middle of the map and the north edge, uh, northwest corners. South Croydon, Purley, Kenley, you can have them. The Brits can keep them. Again, for the time being, I'll change my mind if as the facts change. Okay, so what's the best thing to do here? Uh, we've got a, a wooded area that's we could stop to recon, recon and I think we might at this point uh, anyway the most obvious thing first is to put a platoon and harrow in so let's pick one of these rear area fellows let's just use the headquarters I, I don't think we're going to make a whole lot of contact double time and move looks good now, do you think they mined that road? Do we want to risk it, or do we want to wait for till the next turn to get the assessment report from our lead unit? Well, if they were my units, if they were core units, I probably would wait. But I'm not feeling so inclined. Thank you. 
Let's send in this three strength shoot some first. Yeah, okay, that's clear. All right, let's go. Let's put, let's go pound some ground. <laughs> nice. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> All right, that played off. Moving at a very quick pace down here, which is good. We want to close that distance. They have these these units have basically the longest to go. They started out at the south edge of the board and they've got to go to the northwest corner, so. Okay. Double time. Double time. last turn. Okay, that's okay. There we are. Okay. Alright, so we'll just, uh, now we can link these, or send these, uh, these units, direct them to the north. Yeah, here. Fatigue, fatigued, yeah, so just... Time. Double time. And yeah, now we have a true direction for this. Oh. At some point we'll have to do a better job of <laughs> breaking these up. For now, speed is the key. Uh, artillery is not falling in this area, so. Uh, armored cars. Yeah, let's move them here. How risky do we want to be? Boy, that would be a lunge, wouldn't it? Want to jump into that hex? Oh, we can't even do it. I would love to get an eyes view of what's in front of us. But there's trenches here, and if there's two pounders, this guy is good as is as good as dead, but I will take that risk. I will take that risk. Okay. When I take those little risks like that, my heart always skips a beat. I'm gonna aim the front armor at him. And of course there's some risk that there's some big gun. In fact, just aim my front armor at that. More worried about a big gun being out there. Okay, now we'll see what they have by way of uh, fixed defenses up here. So at least we've got our axis of attack picked out. Uh, supporting machine guns. Okay, okay now this. Uh, Rearward platoon or company. Let's just move them all up. Ah, uh, the armor assets. Yeah, it seems to be clear. I'm going to move as far as I can. Ooh. Talk about recon by fire. Hey, you know what? I'm happy. I'm very happy with that. I'd rather be ambushed with uh, by a carrier in a carrier platoon with the armor. 35T than with troops, because I was I would have just kept pushing down that road for sure. But that was a little lucky. It was a little dumb luck on my part. So yeah, we'll go here. And our observation.
Hmm. Technically, these guys could use an armored car. We don't have one up here. I like armored cars. That you know, if I was the British, I would be saying this probably about the Bren carriers. I, I like the mobility, uh, the ability to quickly encircle and get around enemy units, cut off retreat paths, and mess with logistics and trucks and artillery. You know, that kind of stuff. So, great respect for these little guys. I think we can just better position them for now. them here. I don't see the British coming out. They can't see me anyway, so. Uh, and then the anti-aircraft. Uh, mortars. You know, there is a small argument for smoke, but it is very small. I do want to save most of my smokes for the big city battle at the end. Uh, cities are, you know, densely packed, close quarters environments that, you know, when you that's the best case for smoke, to just smoke a hex, use it as a bait hex, get the enemy to shoot you up when you move in there, and use other units to move into clear hexes and shoot on those units, so. Yeah, no smoke. Let's actually go ahead and pack these guys up into the wagons. Double time. You're for the headquarters for the armor. Oh yeah, Panzer II Fs. Yeah, you'll just... Let's join the armored cars. You're gonna stay put. Oh, forgot about you. Up here. Uh, time to get packed up on the wagons. stay put. You're going to stay put. You'll definitely stay put. Uh, yeah, we'll move you back behind this mortar. All units have been considered. Let's bring down our artillery. Avoid the infantry guns. Start with the mountain guns. Closest units that What's just relevant units? Ugh, that's just worthless shooting at that. Let's go for these guys. All the mountain guns on this. The 150 millimeters. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's prepare the... We'll do the best we can against this, uh... The waterworks. I, f I just feel like I'm wasting artillery when I do that, though. And I don't want to shoot them over here, because this is a mobile fluid battle, and I might miss them. So, yeah. Just dump it. Dump them all. Okay. Uh, need for air raids? Not yet. I would love to call them down on these armor units, but with too many of these soft targets slash carrier targets, it's not worth it yet. Yet be worth it next turn, but we'll see. So now we give the enemy its turn and hope their artillery doesn't shred us. But before we do, let's take a look at the strength. Uh, well, there it was, but I meant more like the victory. Yeah, so 234. Hmm. So, yeah. Positive 84 casualty points. Let's give the enemy its turn. Oh no, they're going for the mortars. 
Yes! The little guys did it. We disrupted the attack. Okay, that's much better than damage. Yes! This one's disrupted as well and reduced. Very good. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. They went for my guys. That was incredibly lucky. Wow. Did you, did you see that? Three shell hits on two units of my own. No damage, and it, the engineer actually retreated to the point where I wanted him to go. No damage from the engineers. No damage from the rifle platoon. Very nice. Good. Okay, now the tanks. British armor. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and shoot those soft targets. Ah, we disrupted him. Which, actually, I should have set this guy to only shoot adjacent. Those tanks will have free moves. Okay, three Fs are back up. And we cleared the block techs. That is awesome. Disrupted. We disrupted him. Uh, that is shocking. Uh, can you believe this? Look at that. The British. The British caught us with our pants down, and it benefited us. That is. That is some real luck. That that road is open now, thanks to the British Hardy. We don't have to lose any uh, time getting onto the objective. And I gotta say, that is. Uh, pat myself on the back for the. This was uh, fairly intentional. I mean, I set that guy there so he would shoot twice, and that worked out. And over here, that was just dumb luck. But I knew that I know that armored cars have the ability to fire AA. Um, but I'll say uh, to the scenario designer, I, I think I identified this earlier. Just a little shout out slash observation of mine. Um, I don't think, yeah, so when I go through the allied SP losses, I don't see any hurricanes, which I think is what that fighter was. Either way, I don't see any air units whatsoever um, in the casualty dialogue box, but when I go to, um, you know, if I go down here and I find, yeah, I think it was like a, Okay, so victory points. Look at this. Victory points, five. Strength of two. I shot one down. So whether it was a Hurricane Mark II, a Hurricane uh, 2B, a 2C, or a Mark 2A, where's my five victory points? I mean, that that's pretty... I don't know. It says it in the book. I don't know if the intent was for them to not be worth anything when you shot them down, but in the unit manual... Uh, or whatever you call it, the JTCS or whatever the <laughs> whatever the acronym is, it's not there. So just a heads up. Uh, okay, uh, that's that's to Mr. Pay though, by the way. So. Okay, 
let's, uh, yeah, and one thing I'm noticing, that, oh my gosh, <laughs> I was going to say I'll do two turns, but that took the entire, <laughs> jeez, we'll never get done with this. All right, I'm going to have to do half turns or at least sectional turns. I'm going to do the northern section and then close this video. It's the only way to keep this thing. I mean, we're going to be going until well after New Year's if we don't uh, we don't speed this up somehow. So I don't want to make longer videos. I'd rather just maximize the efficiency of individual videos. So we'll do it by sections. So let's do the northern shoulder and then close this video. So... Blasted one of my Panzer III Fs. We have not taken out any of their true tanks yet, so we need to change that. First, let's machine gun some guys and bait some shots. Let's go for you. No damage. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's move to the face of the enemy and shoot him again, please. Excellent. And let's try to finish him off. And let's start knocking out a Bren carriers. Let's go for the one that's. Yeah, rear most, rear facing. Nothing. Okay. Uh, we're going to take this low on ammo parachute 40 platoon and move this uh, carrier platoon out of the way. And now it's fairly safe to move the engineer platoon adjacent. Not really worried about these Bren carriers. And I'm going to crack off a shot against one of these British armors at 18. Bye. If we're in good order next turn, we'll wipe out two more platoons. Okay, uh, Stugs. Yeah, we need to get much closer. All right, let's take a little risk. Let's let's get let's just break this counterattack right now if we can. Let's move you here. Shoot this guy. Wow, I thought that would eliminate him for sure. Let's move you here. Huh? I guess I could have cracked off a shot against the tanks. Oh well. Disrupted. Come on. Just die. Okay, you're disrupted, so we'll use this engineer platoon a couple time. Ah, it didn't work. That helped though. Uh, now we'll destroy you. Okay. Yeah, let's go in and take another shot at these tanks. One. No effect. Call back. Let's take these three 
Fs. In. Shoot. Effect. Yuck. All right. Not as not not as amazing as I thought it would be. I thought we'd do a little more damage than we did, but we've de this attack is now definitely uh, broke off. It's it's not going anywhere. Uh, and next turn we'll probably wipe out the main body of what's left, and then the next turn we'll clean up the remnants. Hmm. We have an opportunity to wipe out a platoon. And... I think it's worth the risk. First, let's let's do this right. Yep, let's maintain company integrity. Bait the shot. Move around. Nope, there's a roadblock. Darn. So we'll just shoot him. And shoot him. And shoot him. That's one way to do it. Very nice. Okay, uh, let's clean up this area of the battlefield first, though. Leave no loose ends. Move up. Yeah, let's move in. Shoot this guy. Shoot him again. Good, That'll, that helps protect our engineers. See, we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we move two spaces, we're not gonna. We're gonna move all the way in. Get right in their faces. Just overwhelm them with manpower. Still, this MG is disrupted. Pretty lousy attack. Still pretty lousy, but this makes more sense. Still no need for the armored cars, but as we've seen, the RAF is up in force today. So... Hmm. Oh, this guy's low on ammo. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back to those units. We might have a need for the mobility, we don't know, over here. Let's move you. Yeah, there's no artillery that dropped up here this turn, so yeah, let's move in. Bait the shot. That one, this shot, that was the one I was talking about. Okay. Yeah, we got an MG. That's uh, something we gotta worry about. It appears there's a pretty solid defensive network back here. Could be. Okay, two, three, four. So we don't want to move into this hex quite yet. One, two, three, four, five. Five hex range is barely acceptable to me. Let's just double stack. Yeah, we'll move here. Can we triple? Only if it doesn't cause an overstack. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Triple up. Next turn, we'll wipe out this platoon. Mr. Mortar. Yeah, you would have been much better off if we had managed to not retreat, but I don't blame you. You didn't die, so. Ah, you are prime. This guy is primed and ready to be removed from the battlefield. Just gotta pick which unit to do it. Yeah, 
Let's take this five strength guy. Goodbye. Let's move adjacent, bait the shot, and shoot him. disrupted. Alright, these guys will just go ahead and... Hmm, now we gotta pick a direction. Yeah, pretty clear. I think we're just gonna join with the main group in the center. So let's start heading that way. Cool. Um, I really want to wrap this guy. I want this guy dead. Uh, so, I have a feeling that RAF is probably, for the most part, spent. The AI is not known for conservation of air attacks. So, we'll use this guy. This. That's it. We'll go ahead and call it here, and we'll pick it up. We sort of started. We touched on some movements from the center, but that's okay. So uh, four and a half turns complete. <laughs> uh, victory. We are now a hundred and fifteen points in with cas uh, by casualties only. Uh, but we haven't taken any objectives yet. Even though we're in major defeat, I'm not worried. I'm actually happy with the way it's going. So thank you for watching this. All the best from the good captain, and bye-bye.